The psychology of money habits saving. Saving refers to the act of setting aside a portion of your income for future use or to achieve specific financial goals. Saving can help individuals build an emergency fund, save for a down payment on a home, pay off debt, or invest in their future. Some tips for effective saving include set a goal, identify what you are saving for and set a specific, achievable goal. This will help motivate you to save and track your progress. Setting a goal is an important step in creating a budget. A goal can help you stay focused and motivated to stick to your budget. When setting a goal, it is important to make it specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This is commonly referred to as the SMART criteria. For example, if your goal is to save money for a down payment on a house, you could set a smart goal like this. I will save $20,000 for a down payment on a house by December 31, 2024. By saving $500 per month from my income and cutting back on non-essential expenses like eating out and entertainment. By setting a specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goal, you have a clear target to work towards and a plan to achieve it. You can then track your progress over time and make adjustments to your budget as needed to ensure you are on track to achieve your goal. Create a budget. Create a budget that reflects your income and expenses and stick to it. This will help you avoid overspending and reduce the likelihood of taking on debt. Automate your savings. Consider setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account each month. This will make saving a habit and ensure that you don't forget to save. Automating your savings is a great way to ensure that you are consistently putting money away towards your financial goals without having to actively think about it. Here are some steps to automate your savings set up automatic transfers. Most banks allow you to set up automatic transfers between your checking and savings accounts. You can set a fixed amount or a percentage of your income to be transferred to your savings account on a regular basis, such as monthly or bi-weekly. Setting up automatic transfers is a great way to automate your savings. Here's how to do it. Use apps that automate savings. There are several apps available that can help you automate your savings, such as Acorns, Digit, and Capital. There are many apps available that can help automate savings. These apps can help you set savings goals, track your expenses, and automatically save a percentage of your income. It also offers a feature called Save When I Get Paid where you can automatically save a percentage of your paycheck. 5. Stash This app lets you invest in stocks, ETFs, and bonds with as little as 5. It also offers a feature called Auto Stash where you can automatically invest a certain amount on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. These apps can be a great way to help you save money without having to think about it too much. However, it's important to read the terms and conditions carefully and make sure you understand any fees or charges associated with the app. Set up direct deposit If your employer offers direct deposit, you can allocate a percentage of your paycheck to be deposited directly into your savings account. Direct deposit is a convenient way to automate your savings. It allows your employer to deposit your paycheck directly into your bank account, so you don't have to go to the bank or cash a check. You can also set up direct deposit for other sources of income, such as rental income or freelance work. To set up direct deposit, you will need to provide your employer or income source with your bank account information, including your account number and routing number. Your bank can provide you with this information. Once you have set up direct deposit, you can then set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account. This will allow you to save a portion of your paycheck automatically without having to think about it. Many banks offer online tools to help you set up and manage automatic transfers. Make it a priority. Make saving a priority by setting a goal and tracking your progress regularly. By making it a habit, you can build a strong foundation for your financial future. Remember to review your budget and adjust it if necessary, to ensure that you can allocate enough funds towards your savings goals. Making savings a priority is a key aspect of financial success. One way to make it a priority is to create a specific savings goal and work towards it. Another way is to make saving a habit by automating it.
This can be done through automatic transfers or by setting up direct deposit. It's also important to regularly review and adjust your budget to ensure that you are saving as much as you can while still meeting your financial obligations. Cut back on unnecessary expenses Cutting back on unnecessary expenses can be a great way to save money and make progress towards your financial goals. Here are some tips Identify your non-essential expenses. 1. Identify your non-essential expenses Look at your expenses and identify any that you don't really need or can live without. Set a spending limit Once you have identified non-essential expenses, set a limit on how much you are willing to spend on each category. Find alternatives Instead of buying a latte every morning, consider making coffee at home. Instead of eating out every day, pack your lunch. 4. Negotiate bills Review your bills and see if there are any ways to lower them. Call your internet or cable provider and negotiate a better rate. Delay gratification If you see something you want, don't buy it right away. Wait a few days or even weeks to see if you still want it. This can help prevent impulse purchases. Shop smarter Look for sales, coupons, or discounts before making purchases. Use cash Paying with cash can help you stick to your budget and avoid overspending. Remember, cutting back on unnecessary expenses doesn't mean you have to give up everything you enjoy. It's about finding a balance between saving money and enjoying life. Identify your non-essential expenses Non-essential expenses are those that are not critical or necessary for daily living. Such as entertainment, dining out, luxury purchases, hobbies, travel, and so on. Set a spending limit Setting a spending limit can be a useful strategy to control your non-essential expenses.